Highlights for Educating High School ELL Students by Margaret Stewart. Who are English lear language learners? Currently, 9.2% of students in the United States are English language learners. ELL students are those students who do not meet state standards on English proficiency based on a language other than English being the language used at home. Adolescent newcomers are one group of ELL students who enter U.S. schools between grades 6 and 12. SLIFE, or students with limited or interrupted formal education, are students who missed at least two or more years of school for grading an academic gap. Academic versus conversational language. Conversational or social language is used by students to interact in their daily lives, such as hanging out with friends or ordering lunch in the cafeteria. Being proficient in conversational English is not enough to be successful in content area classes. Academic language is the vocabulary needed to read, talk, and learn in content area classes, such as math, science, and social studies. Academic language skills can include understanding word complexity, understanding sentence structure, syntax, knowledge of vocabulary found in textbooks, but not used in conversation. Best practices to support ELL students. Best practices to develop English language skills within the content area classes. Language and literacy skills should be addressed across all content areas. ELL instruction must include direct instruction of vocabulary for content area texts, instruction in writing for academic purposes, targeted instruction to promote reading skills, flexible scheduling to allow for extended time for learning new academic tasks. Addressing cultural differences in teaching and learning. American schools tend to focus on being able to use information from text, while foreign schools tend to focus on life experience to build knowledge. American schools are often individualistic, focusing on individual accountability. Foreign schools tend to focus on working as a group for the benefit of the group. Teachers may need to incorporate aspects of ELL students' native schools as they help trans students transition to the learning styles and expectations in American schools. Looking past stereotypes and negativity. Teachers need to look at each student as an individual, not look at their race or ethnicity. Being an English language learner student is not a mark of lower intelligence. English proficiency refers to one assessment of English skills. It is not a reflection of content knowledge or ability. Students and staff should focus on strengths and the skills that they bring to the classroom. It is the responsibility of the entire staff, not just ELL teachers, to educate and welcome ELL students to the greater school community. Thank you.